Well, they broke out the giant scissors and officially cut the ribbon on the new amphibian and reptile center at the Buffalo Zoo, otherwise known as the Ark. It is the namesake of the former head of the zoo and our Heather Lee caught up with her earlier today. It was a special day for former zoo president and CEO Donna Fernandez for whom this building is named. She talked about the importance of this building, the animals inside of it, the legacy she leaves behind, but also what it's like to see all of this from the outside. It is hard not to be emotional because Buffalo is such an important part of my life and you know this is probably the highlight of my career working here. After we got our first few projects done, I think people saw the quality that could be done uh, at a zoo and aquarium with the right design and construction. Amphibians and reptiles are very often the canary in the coal mine. Uh, so we're hoping people will be inspired to care about conservation and, and realize there are small changes they can make in their own life that would make a big difference in wildlife populations. I thought, felt it was important that um, people see them displayed in such an exquisite way that you can appreciate them. And what I love about the design of this building is it's you know, featuring some of their beautiful scale patterns and, you know, you get to see them sort of up close. There are 25 different exhibits inside of the Ark, about 40 different species, 150 animals total, and it officially opens to the public tomorrow. At the Buffalo Zoo, Heather Lee, Channel 2 News.